Hey viewers, welcome to VL Astrology once again and I'm um, Vanita Lenka, a Vedic astrologer and that's the reason Sun is entering a Capricorn sign on the 14th of January and uh, not in Aquarius because as per the tropical zodiac this is uh, obviously uh, in Aquarius when I'm uh, talking about Sun transit into Capricorn so don't confuse this is Vedic astrology and the sidereal zodiac. So uh, this uh, transit of sun is happening on the 14th of this month and is going to be till the next month, th 13th. So this is called the Makara Sankranti. First of all, uh, my heartiest congratulations and best wishes for the uh, event which is happening. It's a very important event and a very pious event. And uh, uh, as per the mythological tales, you know, sun is entering his... Uh, uh, child's uh, that is son's house this happened uh, on the year 2020 when saturn transited through capricorn but sun was way ahead of this then last year when this happened sun was uh, uh, obviously combusting the saturn also because they were in close vicinity saturn was somewhere around 17 degrees at that time and was in uh, the nakshatra so it uh, sa sorry sa saturn was somewhere at the 10 degrees and was in um, the nakshatra owned by sun that's that's the reason it is different from that transit because that time saturn was conjunct the sun and was actually you know in the nakshatra of sun as well and this time it is in the nakshatra of moon so you know when there is a complication between the father and the son the mother only comes and you know helps uh, them out to pacify each other and stuff and as it is you know whenever there is a complication uh, when we see son and father you know arrangement is not such which is a cordial one or maybe we can say that there is some hitch uh, in this relationship so is this sun and saturn combination which is happening in the capricorn sign leading us at Sun is authority and Saturn is the masses, the public. And along with that, there's another phenomena which is happening. That is another event of Mercury getting retrograde as well in Capricorn on the very same day. So, so many things happening on the very same day. These are very common phenomena. But from 1991, 92, 93, when this uh, happened in Capricorn sign, uh, things you know will get repeated maybe they will just uh, be giving you a reinforcement of whatever happened at that time in case you know you were uh, uh, you know at that age group when you had completed one round of Saturn's uh, you know uh, ingress into its own sign so you will feel the results even more check where your Capricorn sign is when sun is transiting through this zone and uh, after 29 years this is happening so it's a very important event uh, and of course, the degrees are different. Uh, Saturn's ingress has been from past two years in this sign, but the degrees were different. So this is a very important and a crucial transit. Uh, as far as the authorities and the public is concerned, how their relationship is, how they cope up. And uh, the best is that, you know, you uh, follow the righteous path, be disciplined, do things as advised. And in case you're looking for, uh, you know, something big coming your way, some changes, authority. So this is the time you will be going to get that. Saturn's um, position from sun, actually, if it is three houses, two houses away, then the impact is negative. But when they are conjunct together, this is a very powerful energy. So some major policy making will happen uh, by the rulers of the countries. And some major decision making generally I've seen happens when sun transits through Capricorn sign. But this is a very important one because it's happening after 29 years. So definitely the uh, there is a major transition which happens when uh, it comes to the authorities, the rulers, if you are uh, at an authoritative position yourself. If you're a father, you know, and uh, maybe, you know, there will be some bonding or chemistry that can happen between you and your child. So let's uh, dive deep into this, uh, uh, you know, video where I will be explaining about how is the predictive part going to be for all the zodiac signs that is from Aries till the Pisces sign, how this transit is going to be impacting you all. 
and uh, Saturn is going to go Asta also, that is combustion, which is happening from the January 24th till the February 27th. So you have to be careful about your um, relationship with your seniors, bosses, and uh, some Obviously, uh, negative impact of this happens. I mean, don't lose control, you know, just uh, follow that righteous path. Be more disciplined. Don't be lazy uh, and uh, just stick on to the uh, things that you have planned already, the goals that you have set already. All right. So let me share the screen and show you how the transit is going to impact you all. Okay. So starting with Aries people first. So for Aries natives, this transit is happening over your uh, 10th house and there is a Mercury retrogression also. So you have to be firstly careful about your um, how your communication is with your authorities, with the people around you at the place of work, especially because Mercury, when it is going retrograde, there can be that you have some communication gap with your father, with the father-like figures, gurus, your uh, ancestors, uh, you know, your seniors, I would say. So you have to be more worried about your reputation. This is the time when you will get promotion also because sun is Digbali here. Promotion and uh, this will lead to a lot of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, tangible results also whatever you have you know you are going to plant during this time you're going to get the results right now of that of the same in case you have already planned something uh your focus is somewhere you know and you're going to be um tight on that then only you will get all the results in your favor uh this might bring about some ripples some changes uh some policy changes maybe your boss will change or the place you are working some environment will change but Till the time Mercury is retrograde, please do not make any decisions related to documentation, related to signing of anything big, anything important. Now, Sun's uh, uh, placement, you know, Sun's lordship is eight houses away from here. As you can see, Leo sign, Sun rules Leo sign. It is eight houses away from there. So there can be that, you know, that you have to make certain transformational changes, some changes within you to uh, attain you know you have to change the path of uh, which you have been following maybe you you have to change some uh, bring some changes in the way of uh, uh, working you have to change your maybe you know uh, thinking process so that you attain success in your endeavors don't let them go down the drain utilize them there can be that you lack some bonding with your own child uh, so that you have to put little extra effort your creative energies are going to be helping you. Uh, you should think in a very, think out of the box, think something different, change your thought process. Rahu is also looking here. It's sort of a, an eclipse uh, to the sun because whenever Rahu looks or conjuncts uh, sun moon, so it's like an eclipse time. So it is going to give you some confusion also. You might delay or you might get frustrated in whatever you you are just doing so that's why i'm saying go out of the box think out of the box and uh, get the success so the success rate definitely is going to be positive and favorable for you but you have to shift your moods your uh, line of process uh, of thinking only then you will get the results that you are expecting okay uh, coming to the next sign that is oh, one second Coming to the next sign, that is Taurus. For Taurus natives, uh, the sun is ingressing in your ninth house, being the lord of your fourth. See, this is definitely the eight, eight houses away this rulership of sun is. So you have to do something about your line of uh, thinking. You have to work through your energies towards your uh, achievement of goals in a very different manner now. You have to think differently. Rahu is over your first house. So this will give you some leap in faith. It will give you some experiences where you will be getting into the day-to-day -day life in details, in depth. This will definitely broaden your experiences also. This will broaden your experiences to attract more good news, definitely. So don't uh, 
fall prey to the superficiality get into the depth of whatever you're doing don't get into any kind of uh, adventure or travels this is not the time to as this mercury is also retrograde being the lord of your second in retrogression means there can be some upheavals in financials also because we have to see the chart in totality fourth house uh, in the six places away from there means that it is going to give you some uh, health issues also or your uh, father might have some health issues so this will uh, give you some recognition at the place of work your self expression might change through some uh, you know higher learning get involved in enhancing and brushing up your skills right now maybe you know getting connected with the seniors with the bosses uh, acquiring more knowledge or uh, your father take his blessings so this is the time to modify yourself your thought process rahu is looking here as well there can be see rahu deviates you from whatever you're doing it deviates you so the best is that you yourself find a way out to what you are doing and do it differently because you know ultimately you will feel the difference if uh, you know when the planetary positions are such you will definitely go through that change but here you have to put if you put extra effort and do it voluntarily the results are going to be passive the results are going to be better for you so the best is plan everything in such a manner that you have a win win situation don't fall prey to the uh, advice of the people who are going to actually mislead you so just follow the right path don't deviate from that path and this will definitely lead to success and some important events will happen during this time related to your uh, uh, maybe you know some uh, signing of agreements uh, documents you will be doing some something really important during this time uh, mercury is retrograde so just be watchful about your investments i would request you not to fall prey to the uh, wrong means of earning also that can also happen with rahu looking at this zone okay take care coming to the next sign that is gemini for gemini natives being the ruler of the third this transit is happening in your 8th house saturn is the ruler of the same of the 8th house now this will give you a focus towards some uh, uh, events where you will be actually transforming yourself your thought process and you will definitely be more courageous and the will power is very strong now whatever you know you have not been uh, able to uh, attain this will give you that the opportunity that you are going to be getting you will be actually making the best use of if you are not you should some travel plans might fail so just uh, um, be more attentive while planning everything but yes this is the time uh, to take a break also from the hectic schedule that you have been running uh, whatever health issues you have been going through you will definitely get some um, relief in that psychological issues that you have been going through that you are going to get much better in that as well master those skills you know that you have been actually going through from a long time you have been learning uh, and uh, you know uh, now is the time to implement them because this is the house of research also so if you will go ahead with this it will definitely give you that kind of achievement and uh, success as well look at the bigger picture and the overall picture before making any decisions this is the time to uh, deal well with the joint finances do not evade taxes do not evade any kind of uh, financials this is not the right time to make any kind of major changes in your outlook uh, this can lead to uh, some clashes some uh, problems with your seniorities also maybe you know there can be uh, some confusion which can come up but with your meticulous planning i think that will uh, help you sail through as well this can also lead to some complications ego clashes with your partner so you have to lie low take uh, you know go in for uh, change your habits towards better and that helps you improvise on the relationship overall in relationships with the others okay this is definitely going to be giving you good strength and talents also in making major decision making you know uh, just be careful about when mercury is retrograde your lagnesh is retrograding so you have to be careful about your financials your mother's health and of course your travel plans they might just fall apart so i think you should be taking care as of now because of the um, condition that current condition that we are going through 
Coming to the next sign that is Cancer. For Cancer natives, uh, Sun is the Lord of the Second, transiting through your seventh. So this is good time for maybe uh, making financials through your partner, partnership business. In case you have any kind of uh, ideas. Uh, you should actually start implementing them. This is the time for uh, realizing your own potential. This will lead to some balancing factor also involved in whatever companionship and relationship you are seeking. The energies are positive. You will get support from your partner also. And this will definitely give you some social interactions. This is the time you should make the best use of your interaction and bending and, bl uh, and blending with the people around you. Maybe, you know, you are going to have a very harmonious kind of relationship with the people around you, which leads to success. So utilize it. Your financials are linked with the people. Uh, so just try and figure out how you can uplift yourself, your lifestyle and your uh, plannings you know just take the ideas you have uh, you know circumstances such that your diplomacy skills are required right now with the saturn mercury sun these combinations leads to that being the ruler of the 12th and uh, uh, and uh, seventh and second getting conjoined in the seventh house so this will be a very busy time uh, you will get very busy and you will not get time for your own family. So this will lead to some complications there also. Eat proper. Uh, and this can lead to some health issues to your uh, some, one of your family members. So be more attentive about that as well. Overall, it's a very positive time to utilize your, uh, you know, uh, understanding skills with people. Understand them and then balance the uh, balance the, uh, harmonize the relationship and that will lead to um, obviously success, overall success, okay? Coming to the next sign, that's Leo. Your Lagnesh is transiting your sixth house. So when sixth house gets uh, activated with two malefics, actually these are, the uh, sun is a Krura Graha, but it is the ruler of your Lagna. So sixth house transit will, will actually, you know, illuminate your uh, health routines it will illuminate to take that path of uh, you know work uh, Im improvising yourself your work your health your uh, relationship with people also and this is going to sort out things right now whatever you have not been able to organize there is a good time to work on yourself right now because the lagnesh whenever is in the sixth house this is actually time to improve you are getting that opportunity to improve on all spheres of life. Do not fall prey to your ego, uh, self-esteem. You know, don't uh, bother so much about these things. Otherwise, you know, it will be a, a definitely a step taking uh, backwards. Just get that, uh, the, make the best use of the opportunity that you're getting and uh, just move forward. You could seek distinction and strive towards perfection in your work also because this is the sixth house, house of service. That is why whenever Sun, Saturn, the, uh, the malefics, they transit through the Dustana 6, 8, 12, uh, they are considered to be good because they actually, you know, are tamed there. Uh, they feel that, you know, they can uh, tame the negative energies of that because obviously when you are negative uh, and in a negative place so definitely you become very uh, strong there so any kind of health uh, fitness regime or any kind of health issues that you have been having any kind of loans debts um, people uh, backstabbing you all that is tamed enemies around you you recognize and you actually are able to come out of that zone as well easily because of this mercury being your ruler of uh, the dhanabhava second and the 11th houses this is going to go retrograde so you have to be really careful about your financials and you don't have to go overboard in your investments also because rahu energy is also being transmitted on the sixth house so the best would be that uh, make uh, wise decision, wise choices as far as your investments is concerned. Till the 4th of February, Mercury is retrograde. So you have to be really careful about your financials. But you will get that willpower to do things in the right way, in the right direction. You will get those uh, you know, energies. You will get those ideas, the right kind of ideas. And be servient. Do for others also. This is the time to uh, do for others. Okay. For Virgo natives, this transit is happening in your fifth house and sun uh, being the ruler of the 12th in the fifth house, 
first of all, you know, it will give you a distant relationship with your children. If at all you are planning any uh, progeny or childbirth or you're already on the way, so this is going to happen. Now, this is the favorable time. Any kind of creative energies that you want to utilize, you should be doing that. You know, there is a, uh, you know, uh, you're going to be very expressive now. And the creative ideas that you are getting, they are really, you know, spontaneous and they're going to give you, giving you a lot of, uh, uh, you know, um, success, uh, success rate is going to be very uh, uh, high. And also, you know, there is some kind of, uh, uh, you know, emotional uh, self-protectiveness kind of a feeling. You're very spontaneous. You're very self-protective during this time. You want to divert your attention to uh, your creativity, your pleasure, your amusement also. So this will lead to some uh, rejuvenation kind of a feeling because 12th Lord in the fifth house definitely is the, the time to make the best use of your creative abilities that you have, which are latent. Enjoy your uh, pleasures and leisures of life, you know, whatever you have not been able to do it right now. Make the best use of your moments that you get with your children that uh, and uh, maybe, you know, you will get involved in some risk taking, gambling um, uh, and uh, investing. So, you should do that, but your lagnation is getting retrograde. So just uh, try lying low. Uh, you will feel quite uh, charged up in your romance also. Uh, there's heat, there's fire, but at the same time, Saturn, you know, when get, uh, it's good when Saturn gets combust, you know, it, uh, uh, obviously it, it will subside those energies of uh, the coldness that Saturn carries. So Saturn will get Asta um, combust on the January 24th until the uh, 27th of February. It's going to be in retrogression, uh, sorry, in combustion. So that is the time. you want to this is the time for uh, getting uh, you know involved with somebody also uh, you might be uh, you know getting on the spree of being flamboyant the ego and the flamboyancy can increase so you have to tame those energies as it is mercury is retrograde so you might make some mistakes because i'm being the ruler of the 12th avoid travels okay i hope it's not cut Mm -hmm. Coming to the next sign, that is Libra. So for Libra natives, um, uh, can anybody confirm if it is live streaming? Okay, so for Libra natives, this transit is happening in your fourth house and uh, being the ruler of your 11th. So this will give you some uh, concerns relating your property matters, relating your uh, vehicles, relating your roots, your heritage, your experiences related to your inner ones, you know, the inner feelings. So that is something which is going to, um, okay, it's live streaming, right? It just got cut, I think. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So this is uh, like, you know, you are going to be spending some more time at home. You are going to be having some... Um, uh, you know that inner experiences that you have uh, are related to your roots you will touch your base again maybe you will you will be having that kind of feeling that you want to be at home you want to stick to your roots you want to focus on the source of pride you want to strengthen your relationship with your family members but you know you can have ego clashes as well so you have to tame that as well that those energies might just you know uh, be little um, impacted negatively so you have to handle those energies and strengthen those relationships rather than you know going overboard in making uh, ego a relationship uh, on based on ego the foundations you have to be making them get stronger you have to spend more time with people around you and uh, this will give you that uh, obviously the time and that kind of 
uh, relationship with those kind of people as well. This is going to enhance a lot many uh, positive energies. You can uh, maybe uh, get more emotional at times, so you will not get that kind of satisfaction. Avoid investments on uh, the landed property or uh, land related uh, issues, you know, and take care of your mother's health also. Some unexpected changes are uh, anticipated for you because, you know, this is right opposite the 10th house and sun is losing the thick ball also. And Mercury is also retrograding. So the, this is not the time to travel, not to plan any kind of uh, uh, documentation related work. Anything which leads to some confusion, you should just lie low, I think. Because Saturn being here, you know, is also the Kantakashani. For you, when Saturn gets Asta, your Yoga Karagraha getting Asta might bring about some relief to you. Because, you know, uh, Saturn gives you a lot of emotional vent of mind, a lot of ripples, you know, a lot of uh, uh, confusion also and uh, displacement, basically. So this uh, Saturn will be getting uh, combust from January 24th till the February 27th. So this is the time to make some major decisions regarding your uh, travels, regarding your house change, your job change. And be careful about relationship with the authorities. You have to be extra careful about that. Okay. And definitely a very positive one, a positive time for you to um, take, make decisions wisely. This is a very positive time because, you know, being wise is also very, very important, right? So at times, you know, we are, uh, we, we are making decisions wisely, but you know, they don't fall in place. So this is the time everything will fall in place. So utilize it. Coming to the next sign, that is Scorpio. For Scorpio natives, uh, Sun is going to be transiting your third house and is the ruler of your 10th. So in the third house, you, you will be moving or there will be something which you are going to be exploring, making connections, paying attention to your environment. Some social interactions are going to be part of your day-to-day uh, -day life. You're going to be very um, happy. You're going to be doing some paperwork. Third house is considered to be good because the willpower actually, you know, that is missing. That you actually get, in, uh, get, get it back. The will to do things and the desire to do things, that gets very, very strong. You will be, in case you are um, uh, interacting with people, you know, uh, online or something, this can lead to some complication as well because mercury is also retrograde being your 11th lord so you have to be careful about those uh, areas don't socialize much during this time avoid but yes you will be having some close connectivity with the closed ones maybe you will be having some uh, interest in your neighbors or you are going to be seeking some advice for, or help from your siblings all that is quite uh, favorable but you know the best is that do not get involved in um, uh, the communication or socializing uh, with sun in the third house during this one month's time. It can lead to some confusion and uh, Rahu is also looking. So this can lead to some misunderstandings also. So be careful. Otherwise, it's definitely going to lead to some kind of, uh, uh, you know, that exploration that you have, some kind of uh, meticulous planning, imaginations, you know, writing or some efforts that you um, have made they'll be recognized people will be acknowledging them so this is that way a very positive time for you uh, but at the same time being the 10th lord in the third house you have to be very careful with your communication with your co-workers also with your senior seniority with your uh, people around you okay coming to the next sign that is Sagittarius. For Sagittarius natives, Sun is going to be transiting your second house and being the ruler of your ninth. So this is like, you know, your focus is on your material affairs, on your comforts, on the security that you are seeking. You want to focus on your family also at the same time what you possess. You want to be a show off, maybe, you know, you will become very egoistic during this time. You can become very extravagant also. So you have to be really careful about your expenses. Don't go overboard. Mercury being the ruler of your seventh is in retrogression and transiting through the eighth house from here. So this can lead to some health issues or miscommunication with your partner. So you have to be really careful. Some, something to do with your uh, ego, ego clashes can happen. 
be careful about that. Otherwise, you know, it is a good time for taking risk in case you have to for uh, something related to your uh, uh, investments. You can do that uh, till the time Mercury is retrograde. Of course, you should not. But yes, after that, you can. And it is it is going to definitely lead to some uh, good, uh, good results and positive uh, growth also. The growth prospects are good. And um, being the ruler of the nine, take care of your father's health as well. Okay, coming to the next sign that is Capricorn. So for Capricorn, um, yeah, thank you so much for confirming. So for Capricorn natives, sun is going to be transiting through your first house and uh, is going to be conjunct Saturn and Mercury. Mercury is going to be retrograde, of course, uh, the very same day when sun is transiting here, being the ruler of the sixth and the um, ninth. So this will lead to the, uh, you know, change in your personal personality being the ruler of the eighth so it will bring about some transformation you will maybe change your behavior towards people you will your self-expression you might just uh, go in for some um, you know personal changes in your life you're going to be set those boundaries that I don't have to do this I have to do this there there is going to be a lot of confidence in you so utilize this to actually this renewable energy that you are carrying to actually make the best use of in pioneering things that you have already planned. So just use your endeavors, use your foundations and make the best use of right now. This month is very, very important and crucial for you. If you don't, uh, if you're low on confidence, you will not be able to utilize the latent energies that you are carrying. This is going to lead to some really uh, those areas where you will find the soul satisfaction, identity. So Rahu being aspecting the sun, you have to be really very, very strong because I don't want you to just lose because this Rahu energy will pull you down. No. So this is like a renewed feeling of confidence. Take advantage. This is the time you must uh, actually make the decisions that have not been able to, that, that bravery was missing. So now is the time you're getting that back. Self-assertion, directness, confidence, all these are the things that you should carry in your personality, okay? And this is going to lead to definitely positive, positive, and positive, okay? And just have a very good connection with everyone. Don't have those ego clashes. Don't pull your self-esteem down, okay? Utilize it. It is going to help you. This, this transit definitely is going to help you. Coming to the um, Aquarius sign. For Aquarius natives, this transit is happening over your 12th house and being the ruler of your seventh. So there can be some distant relationship with your partner, first of all, because the seventh lord has gone to the 12th house, six places away from there. Elevation can be anticipated, some change of place of your partner, uh, promotion on cards. And this is also going to give you some retreat, regeneration. You're going to be spending more time with, uh, with your own self. You're going to be breaking those routines. You'll be, you know, uh, going in for some uh, activities which are going to give you some um, soul time. It's a, a time to recharge those batteries. So just uh, the soul search, just do that. Spend more time to, uh, to, uh, to uh, give yourself some time and utilize this energy to actually um, enhance those private affairs. Uh, just work through those energies where you can actually be a renewed energy that you can get when sun transits through your first house next month. So this is like a very secluding kind of an energy, aloofness kind of an energy. You might be traveling, you might be going away from the place where you are. So th this will definitely enhance those uh, you know, renewable energies, those energies which are uh, you were waiting for. This definitely is a time of endings, some new beginnings coming your way from the next month onwards. This happens every year and every time, you know, this happens during this time. So your disposition is introspective. So spend more time to reflect, rest, and just see what you have to do in the upcoming cycle because the cycle is coming to an end for you. So now is the time when the new cycle will begin from the next month onwards. So you're, this is the foundational phase. You're preparing something, 
you're uh, designing something and next month you should launch whatever you're planning. So any kind of business, any kind of talks which are going on. So just understand that that is going to culminate by the end of this, uh, this transit. And when sun transits through Aquarius, you will be definitely implementing that. Coming to the last sign, that is, uh, let me see if it is working. Okay, so now coming to the last sign that is Pisces, this happens in your 11th house, Saturn, Mercury and Sun are in the 11th house and being the ruler of your sixth. So this is uh, like, you know, this is the place where, you know, uh, of socializing, friends, groups, dreams coming true. So this will give you a feeling of happy and lightheartedness. You will be actually affiliating with your people around you. You will be attracting uh, some good friends, some new energies, uh, authoritative figures, influential people you will come across. And this will give you some unconventional approach to completing the task. You will be very innovative and progressive. Because this is right opposite the fifth house. The so fifth house is the house of creative energies. And this is like the house of progression. This is the house of ideas. Whatever the dreams that you have uh, dreamt of, they are going to get fulfilled. Desire fulfillment also. So whatever you have promised to yourself in the past, this is the time to realize those, okay, those promises. In case you have committed something to somebody, this is the time to actually going for the fulfilling of the commitment. Do not uh, digress yourself because the Rahu is looking here. Don't forget that. So if you will digress, the Rahu energy will tone down the uh, effect of your willpower, your uh, righteousness. So don't let yourself down because of this energy. Just go and get that. Whatever you have designed, you have, you have set your goals. Now is the time to actually realize those goals and just work through those energies. It's a tough month. A lot of work is there. You're going to be really very uh, tied up. But at the same time, you will be taking some rest next month because sun will be transiting your 12th house and that is the time when you know you will be relaxing. So it is like a peaceful sleep after the whole cycle comes to an end. So this is like on the verge of ending. So you will be actually doing things in a very... Um, a hardworking manner in a very truthful manner. So be honest in whatever you're doing and definitely the uh, goal achievement is yours and everything is coming your way for sure. Okay. So this is what is the transit about and uh, somebody is asking why this Bindi because it's Capricorn. So black color Bindi and red is of course sun's color. So thank you so much for watching and uh, in case you have any questions, you can definitely drop in in the comment section. So stay blessed, everyone, and uh, have a great Makar Sankranti and a great sun's ingress in Capricorn sign. Stay blessed. Om Tatsut.